Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing five-lined skinks. Five-lined skinks are also known as blue-tailed skinks. However, neither of these common names is particularly perfect because these reptiles change color as they age. When they first hatch, five-lined skink babies have the iconic and namesake five white to yellow lines running down their back and sides. These end where their bright blue tail begins, and it's this saturated appendage that leads to their other common name. It's worth mentioning, however, that there are other skink species, such as the broad-headed skink, whose babies look exceptionally similar to the babies of this skink species. In fact, the only way to tell them apart is to look at their scales. Common five-line skinks have broad scales along the bottom of their tail, and four scales between their eye and upper lip. That's the easiest way to identify them. Of course, they're not likely to let someone get close enough to do that. Five-line skinks are skittish. They'll run away at the sight of a would-be predator, such as a tall human being. There are a few species commonly known as five-line skinks that live throughout eastern North America, though this video is focused mainly on the common five-line skink. They inhabit forest habitats with downed trees and rotting debris, under which they can hide. They're also quite commonly observed around human homes. Common five-line skinks tend to be found closer to the ground than other related species who may appear more arboreal. They're also diurnal and most frequently seen in the morning during the spring and summer months. When it's winter, these reptiles enter a state of low activity until the weather warms. While five-line skinks start out with five lines, these fade over time. Females take on a more gray hue, while males appear brown with a red head. This red becomes even more prominent during the breeding season. Five-line skink males find females via pheromones and nip at the lady's neck while they mate. The female produces a clutch of 5 to 15 eggs that she lays in a rotten log, under debris, or in a protected rock pile. It takes one to two months for the babies to develop, and the female remains with the eggs the entire time. She'll urinate on them to keep them moist and eat any eggs that spoil. In fact, the eggs actually grow in size while she watches them, and the babies leave the nest within a few days of hatching. Five-line skinks average about three inches long, not including their tail, and more than double that when their tail is included. However, like other skinks, these reptiles can drop their tail to distract a predator and make an escape. The blue color of a juvenile's tail acts as a distraction to a predator, although some scientists speculate it may be an indication of their acrid taste. Supposedly, they taste terrible, but that doesn't stop other lizards, snakes, birds, and carnivorous mammals from eating them. In turn, five-line skinks eat roaches, spiders, and other arthropods, as well as worms and even baby mice. They can live about half a decade. These reptiles have another common name throughout parts of their range. They're also called scorpions. They get this name from the false belief that they're venomous and can sting like a scorpion. This is untrue. Five-line skinks don't have venom, and even if they did bite a human, they're not strong enough to break through human skin. So there's nothing to worry about even if you know them by that name. In fact, these lizards may even be beneficial to people. There's thought that five-line skinks help dilute Lyme disease and make it less transmissible to human beings. For more facts on five-line skinks, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.